the unsung engineers of the prairie. How bison shape an entire ecosystem. The unseen architects, they are the titans of the American plains, living, breathing monuments to a wild, untamed continent. When we picture the bison, we see immense power, shaggy manes catching the prairie wind, and a deep, rumbling presence that seems to shake the very earth. But the bison's greatest strength, its most profound contribution, is often entirely unseen. It lies not in the spectacle of their form, but in their quiet, persistent, and transformative ability to engineer an entire world around them. They are a keystone species, the central stone in an archway, upon which the entire structure depends. Remove the keystone and the arch collapses. Today, we look beyond the animal to discover the architect, venturing deep into the grasslands to reveal how the American bison is the true, unsung force that builds, sculpts, and revitalizes the Great Plains of North America. The selective grazer, sculptors of the meadow. Grazer, sculptors of the meadow. A bison's meal is a masterclass in ecological design, a delicate act of landscape artistry. Unlike domestic cattle that graze indiscriminately, bison are highly selective foragers. With powerful neck muscles and a wide mouth, they move through the prairie, methodically seeking out and consuming the dominant, fast-growing grasses that would otherwise blanket the landscape, choking out all competition. By constantly trimming these grasses, they become nature's most effective gardeners. This selective pressure opens up the canopy allowing precious sunlight to penetrate the dense turf and reach the prairie floor. Suddenly, a hidden world is awakened. A diverse community of other plants, known as forbice, wildflowers, legumes, and herbs, are given the chance to flourish. The prairie explodes into a vibrant patchwork quilt of color and life, a complex mosaic of newfound plant diversity creates a cascade of opportunity. It becomes a banquet for an incredible array of native pollinators like bees and butterflies and provides critical food and cover for ground. Nesting birds like the meadowlark and the grasshopper sparrow. Fui, the very structure of the prairie is transformed from a simple monoculture into a thriving, multi-layered ecosystem, all thanks to the specific and discerning appetite of the bison. The power of the wallow, creating worlds in the dirt. One of the most iconic and seemingly simple bison behaviors is the wallow, the act of dropping to the ground and rolling vigorously in the dirt, sending clouds of dust into the air. While this serves personal needs, helping to dislodge biting flies and shed thick winter coats, its impact on the landscape is nothing short of revolutionary. As a one-ton animal thrashes and churns, its immense weight and force compact the earth, scraping away vegetation and creating shallow, bowl-like depressions in the land. These wallows, scattered across the plains, are scars that bring new life. When the seasonal rains come, these compacted basins resist absorption and transform into miniature, temporary wetlands, ephemeral pools that hold water for weeks or even months. In the vast and often dry prairie, they become vital oases. They are the nurseries for amphibians like the Great Plains toad, a crucial water source for countless insects, and a magnet for birds and other 
wildlife. Even after the water evaporates, the disturbed, bare soil of the wallow becomes a perfect seedbed for pioneer plant species, further diversifying the landscape. From a cloud of dust, the bison creates a life-sustaining The nutrient cyclists giving back to the land, the bison's engineering genius extends deep into the very soil beneath their hooves. As a vast herd moves, their thousands of sharp hooves, their thousands of sharp hooves act like a natural aerator, slicing into the dense prairie sod. This action allows vital water and air to penetrate deeper into the earth promoting healthy root growth for the plants they feed on. At the same time, their hooves press seeds firmly into the soil, significantly increasing the chances of germination. Germination. They are simultaneously tilling and planting the fields they call home. Furthermore, what the bison takes, it returns with interest. Their nutrient-rich dung, deposited across the plains, is a powerful, slow-release, natural fertilizer. But it is also a micro-ecosystem unto itself. A single bison pet can become a bustling community for hundreds of species of insects, most notably the dung beetle, which diligently burrows and buries the dung, enriching the soil even further. Their nitrogen-rich urine provides another immediate boost of nutrients to localized patches of flora. Even in death, a bison gives its final gift. Its carcass becomes an island of immense biological activity, feeding scavengers for weeks and slowly releasing a massive pulse of life-sustaining nutrients back into the earth, enriching a single spot for years to come. From birth to death, the bison is locked in a cycle of profound generosity with the land. The beating heart of the prairie. From the specific plants that are allowed to grow to the pockets of water that collect after a rain, to the very fertility and structure of the soil, the bison's touch is everywhere. Their grazing patterns create diversity their wallowing creates new habitats and their constant cycling of nutrients builds a foundation of health and strength. They are the conductors of a grand ecological symphony and their presence makes the entire grassland ecosystem more complex, more stable, and more resilient to challenges like drought and fire. They are not simply inhabitants of the prairie. They are its architects, its engineers, its gardeners, and its beating heart. To understand the bison is to understand that the survival of one keystone species is the very bedrock for the survival of thousands more. By recognizing and respecting these unsung engineers, we ensure the future, not just of an iconic animal, but of the magnificent and intricate world that they tirelessly build.